Hey guys, this is Harshit and I'm a complete non-coder who can now build full stack applications using AI. So let's look into bold.new and how you can build your own AI applications or even simple landing pages using bold.new. But before we get started, I've explored bold.new a lot and I'm actually on the pricing plan as well and I've already exhausted a lot of my tokens and I've only got 2.5 million tokens left. So before we even get into the uh, purpose of the application itself, I'd first tell you guys that Bolt.new is really, really overhyped. It's, it's, I mean, the UI is great. It just feels great. I mean, I think Stack, uh, Stack, uh, Stack Blaze, uh, whatever these guys are called, yeah, Stack Blitz. Stack Blitz has nailed the UI, but the implementation, I don't really think so. I think the best way to right now build full stack applications AI SaaS applications is using v0.dev and cursor. Cursor is the best because you can always command enter and talk to your entire code base. That's the best way to do it. And Versal can clone anything. You can basically take those codes, go back to uh, Versal, uh, go back to cursor and then start building your applications. But now if we just look into bolt.new, I don't really like it. I mean, which we're just gonna explore how, how we can just build a simple landing page right now, how to build a portfolio page. That's something that we can try out, but we only got 2.5 million tokens left. So let's exhaust them completely. Let's go. So the first step here is um, what do you wanna build, right? So help, help, help me build a complete portfolio website and some of the pointers that I'm going to give it is make this in .tsx files next JS and then um, this folio website should also have um, other links and icons for all my social handles and a proper scrollable section for projects and what else can we add what else do we need in our portfolio and a link to my github if you're a developer and my youtube if you're a content creator what else? Think of it. What else does a portfolio website have? I think these are these are the simple things that I wanted to share, and a nice section for my photo. You can use a place holder for this photo. Should be a perfect professional yet minimalistic minimalistic website all right so i'm just going to click on let's just first copy the prompt let's click on let's just click on typescript see i guess thank god i copied the prompt because that's what that's what bold.new does it just that you know doesn't work sometimes or I just surprisingly starts working. But look, I think it's setting up the environment and my whole prompt is gone. Imagine if I haven't copied this, right? So my whole prompt would have just been exhausted. This is what I hate about Bolt. All right, so let's just enter this. Thank God I've copied it. Always, always copy your prompt or have it in the notes section. But this is fine. Let's, let's see how it does it. So just to give you an overview of what exactly Bolt.new is, it's basically a mixture of replit cursor and v0 but that that's what it says it is uh i mean i don't really know i don't really understand because this is fine all right it's, it's all installing and all of it's, it's doing all of this but debugging is so difficult because you can't you i mean okay let's let's say you have your own code base your entire code base and then you want to start prompting you just want to work specifically on something when you when you paste it it only gives you the corrected codes. It doesn't give you the entire code base. And that's the problem 
when you have okay now we just run into an error so that's the but that's basically the problem right so anytime you're a complete non-coder you always pick an application that understands your entire code base only then you can really build full stack applications all right so i've created a modern minimalistic you haven't all right you haven't created it okay let's just copy this and let's say solve this all right i mean imagine if you're if you're on cursor right if you're on cursor right let's say you do run into an error you have this command terminal and you just have a button which just says debug with ai it directly goes into this section which is basically the chat section and then debugs it brings it back here or you can directly use the composer right if you're not aware of the composer composer um how do i click on it was it control i yes it's command i command i is the composer you can just simply ask you know questions and then it directly builds it so this doesn't have the features so i don't really think how i don't really know how this is really a cursor competitor it can be great if bold is actually an idx meaning what if they build a whole idx itself instead of a shitty website i wouldn't call it shitty i mean it's great but instead of a website it would be great if they have their own idx ide ide or idx what's it called i think um idx right yeah idx you guys get the point i'm a non-coder guys okay i want to figure this out what what is this ide it's called ide yeah it's called integrated development environment yeah bold should actually build their own ide hmm this looks like shit look at this what is this you wouldn't even get an entry level job if this was your portfolio look at this man see is this is this what you call a website i mean look at this okay you know what let's, let's try this right what if we use the exact same prompt and then put it on v0 and then let's also do claude chat gpt doesn't really you know build the whole code base so i think claude does claude has artifacts so claude artifacts does it okay um let's just do this perfect let's, let's see what it does all right so as you can see it just uh, created a portfolio section hmm what is this what is this okay let's let's redo let's redo let's redo this all right that's also v0 also has a problem it always does it and again so when, when you type in a prompt and it has an error don't redo it because when you redo it i don't know what happens but it just fucks up the whole code what i'm going to do is i'll just stop go to the new chat enter again yes you will be having multiple chats but it's just fine it's just a better way to do it okay uh what is this i'll help you create a modern website it's this code all right so as you can see this is just the code itself right it has given us the files i mean page.tsx components.tsx and all of these but it isn't really a proper website right so that's something which it isn't but again you can simply copy the whole thing go to cursor and build the whole website which would again be great but okay see the same problem again it gives you components of the website which you basically got to mix and match and then build your own website but um i mean this okay it just gave us a sidebar as well i don't know why it gave us a sidebar but so you you kind of get the idea of what it does right so this is just pieces of code and then you have to go back to cursor and then you build it right that that's what this is okay this hasn't given us pieces of code where it should have but it just gave us like this so what if i'm a complete non coder and i thought this was the entire code right but it isn't right so this is a code and then this is one and so on and so forth right so i mean th that's that's the thing with this that's the thing with um that's the thing what that's what bold does specifically but again let's say let's say let's let's say we kind of modify this prompt right let's say we modify this prompt and we don't give any of this tsx files because it does it by itself 
So let's let's just remove this part and say build a portfolio website um, and say use shad cn ui for this and the code and the code has to be one complete code preview don't break it down make sure you use versal and v zero dot dev styling for this gotta be clean that's what i want clean all right so now let's see what it does because the output that you received from bolt is shit i mean what's the use case right you just think of it what's the, really the use case because now you can just go on to wix and just build a website right wix website as a complete non-coder you can do it it's better website i mean you can do it with webflow webflow as well you can build like amazing websites but let's say your whole point was just to create a landing page and this is the kind of landing page it gives i mean bold.new is completely useless for you right but again i have built a complete landing page using um v0 i'm just going to show it to you guys right so you have this is my youtube right so this is actually a complete one hour video where i've built a website for my own venture fund and this is how it looks look at this look at how clean okay just give it a second yes look at how clean this is even this even the animations and all of this I've, I've built this completely by myself without writing a single line of code i don't know if you can see it but behind the like you know boxes and then there's a grid uh, i still have to you know improve all of this but this it was able to build this right you might say this is a simple website but again i want it to be clean right i mean look at this the does this feel modern or does this feel modern right so this is the one that's modern and i've built this using v0 wow now look at this all right so just compare just compare bold.new and then this one but right, not a lot of difference i think this is used shards in components right shards in components projects it clearly has a section for projects also view more on github you also use an icon for this nothing of that sort here and let's connect see contact email message send a message right this is great all right so look at this it's much much better than just bold.new so that's why i've stopped using bold.new that's why i still have you know a couple million tokens i don't really use this as much also it wasn't this expensive i remember it being just nine dollars when it started and now i think they're charging a bomb for this i think also with 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 just 20 dollars a month i can there are so many chats i talk to v0.dev every single day like 100 100 times a day to solve my problems and even cursor i use clots on it i can just solve so many problems bolt i'd say is expensive it's bad it doesn't give the kind of output that you want also is not an ide so I don't really like the hype about bold.new. It's great. I mean, it sounds great. It looks great, but professional use case, building complete full stack applications, no go. You can use, you can use V0 and cursor and then build full stack applications because in the end you want to monetize your applications, right? So if your apps, apps, you look like this, no one's going to use it. So it's supposed to be monetizable. It's supposed to be modern. And again, I think it's a personal. Uh, perspective as well but again it depends on what you think uh, but these are my pointers and see it's a simple prompt i had just you know add a couple of pointers here so that it gives a complete new prompt here but i mean look at this right it, it it's really great i mean if you want to try this out i can make this public and then just share it with you guys so that you can just uh, use the same link and just uh, work on this right yeah so this is the site this is a site here which i can just share with you guys but then again there's before that like there's one issue here right if you want to take this again to cursor you have to copy the whole prompt and you have to copy the whole code and then you have to you know a couple of prompts where you ask it to mo uh, modularize 
or or just simply do add to code base npx chat c and add the link or just download the zip and you have the website it's just that easy it's just that easy and i just love chat c and ui man it is so clean it's like an a16z funded company all right so i think that's all for the video bolt no i wouldn't be using bolt i'll just use v0 cursor and claude sonnet thanks again for watching guys hope this was helpful